Hello folks, time for another video and shave. Today is going to be an awesome shave because the other day I received a mail call which I wasn't expecting. Uh, it's from a great guy. Um, he's on a couple of Facebook uh, shaving groups. Uh, I asked him if I could mention his name in the video and he was like, sure. So uh, I want to thank Wes Smith for sending me Something I've been really looking at a lot after he's been posting it on a couple of your shaves of the day. But he sent me a little package here from uh, Rod George uh, Shave Designs. And if you know Rod George, he makes the awesome handles uh, in the razor community. And he sent me, which is my favorite color combo, which is the... Uh, I don't know what Rod was calling this when he made it, or I didn't actually ask Wes what he called it, but it's black and green, which is my favorite shave colors. In fact, I got my black and green Tackle Warehouse shirt on today. I'm using my favorite black and green brush, which is my Predator brush. And as you can see, I already have a lather whipped up here in the old Timeless Bowl. And the scent I'm using today... Mmm got some of the news is some Zingari Mariner today keep that with the green theme too but I was really into that fresh aquatic scent very yummy um, I do have a bug bite that I got I got two bug bites actually that I got the other day between my shaves so hopefully I don't uh, I also got one up here on my forehead, but I'm not going to be shaving up there. But hopefully I won't uh, whack those off. Now, with this awesome handle from Rod George, I put it on my Rockwell. I was going to originally use the uh, the Magrids V3 head that it came with, but I have the Magrids V3 head already myself. So I have that over here. Um, also... Um, but the, the handle did come with the Magus V3 head that Wes also sent me. And I know that's what Rod George uses as his uh, go-to head. I just didn't want to keep it as... For me, the V3 head is a little... Not super aggressive, but it's a little aggressive for me. And since I have these little bug bites over there, I don't want to crank them off. And I don't know. I might, I might even do it with the Rockwell head. But I got the Rockwell head also set up on uh, plate number four I believe I don't know if you can see that because the handle is kind of large but I'm on plate four and I have which is becoming my favorite blade the chroma blade I actually just ordered these got them in the other day so I got a whole bunch now so thank God because I was getting a little low because I believe that Josh Morris sent me those um, I'm going to do a little pre-shave here just because I have that little mark there, and I don't want to. I got a feeling I'm going to wind up cutting that off anyway by accident. So, going to use the cube, which is getting kind of tiny, from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. I was going to wait a day or two, but I don't know if that bug bite would have healed. It's been itching me. That's why it's kind of got a little scab on it there because I think I've been scratching while I've been sleeping. But I wanted to get this tribute out to my buddy Wes there who sent me this awesome handle from Rod George. Awesome deal. I was shocked when I saw that package come in. And I was like, what is this? And then I opened it and I saw that razor handle. And I was like, whoa. That's my favorite color. And Wes is also another alumni of the uh, heart surgery. I know he had his open heart surgery a few years ago. And while I was in the hospital, we chatted a few times. And... Uh, he gave me advice on, you know, what to expect with, uh, you know, after the pain and not after the pain, but, you know, in the rehab section, what I was looking forward, you know, not forward to, but 
what I was looking into in the future as far as getting the old muscles working again on the chest cavity. Love that mariner. I like all those Zingari soaps. Been shaving with the new soap, the tribe. Was feeling like a more aquatic kind of scent today. Got a great lather, the Zingari. Got some up on the nose. All right, so I can't wait to use the old black and green. Rod George handle there. Awesome. Thanks, Wes. Really appreciate it. I got her on the old Rockwell. I'm played four. It's a very comfortable handle. And what I like about it is it's nice and long. And I like the handle. My, hand, my razor handle is a little longer. Tell you what, I'm really, really, really enjoying these uh, chroma blades. Which I just picked up a uh, 200 pack. I think it was for like $26 on Amazon. Can't go wrong with that. 200 blades. And the chroma blades are made in Germany. Boy, this is a comfortable handle. I really think it's so cool looking. Matches my predator uh, motif really good. Wes is so awesome for sending me that this setup. Perfect match with the Rockwell head. It is hot here in New Jersey today. I think it's like 87 degrees already. Now I did nick myself on my last shave up under my nose. So I got to be a little careful up there too. My last shave is with that awesome uh, Gillette, that Gillette, that vintage Gillette that my wife found. Oh, that was a great shave. First pass was great. Got lots of whiskers in the sink. Just rinse those out real quick. One thing I love about Zingari is that 
residual slickness is phenomenal. Phenomenal residual slickness. Great slickness, that soap. Sorry, just refilling the sink. Playing with that residual slickness, which is so great with the Zungari soaps. And her new soap, the Tribe, has her new base, which the slickness is improved. Even though there's nothing wrong with the slickness, her older slickness, the slickness on this Nomad is, I mean on this Mariner, sorry. This Nomad is my favorite scent from Zingari. In fact, I think I'm going to finish off my shave instead of using the Mariner, uh, even though I love Mariner. But I love that Bay Rum, I'm a big, big Bay Rum guy. I have lots of Bay Rums. Boy, the slickness is awesome. Boy, I'm really enjoying the uh, how awesome this handle feels on this razor. It's a great deal. And it is uh, longer than my Rockwell handle, as you can see. I don't know if you can see that there. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good deal. Alrighty, so let's go with the uh, technically my second pass, but it's the pass where I kind of go against the grain and kind of hit up everything there. So, I mean, look at that. That is awesome lather. It's like boom. Hmm. And let me tell you, Zingari's, uh, base whether it be the new base on the tribe or the base that's over here that i have with the mariner you could put so much water in it or even not enough water and it performs perfectly that lather is so awesome way up on my nose definitely some good stuff there just gonna kind of pull down my shirt a little bit there so now we'll go against the grain which is my against the grain with the grain not with the grain but every which way Now Wes, Wes does a lot of uh, live videos in uh, some of the Facebook groups. I know he was just live the other day in uh, the Red Beard Lounge. Supporting some Zingari. He was using a new tribe, I believe. Which is also a great cause with that soap. It's Heather does a donation on that soap to the uh, Soldier Dog Program, you know, Dogs for Vets. Just being a little careful under the nose there because I'm not sure if that's 100% healed up over there.
but his handle's got a great size, great length. I wish I had a black headed uh, Rockwell, it matches perfect, but I know they're coming out with a, uh, or I know there's a drawing for a, uh, a black anodized Rockwell success. sailing there. Just want to make sure I got up on my nose good. Because that's the first thing that actually comes in on me is my uh, the whiskers under my nostrils. That's why I love the Rockwell so much because it's so smooth and I can get right up in there and even though I did nick myself with that Gillette, vintage Gillette the other day, the Rockwell's just uh, dancing along there perfectly. Alright, I am uh, I am almost smooth as a baby's behind. Just have a little bit under the chin. That feels wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I always get so much water on my counter. I have a towel down here too to block all that, but you know how it goes. So I got a small little weeper right there. That's okay though. Boy, that slick soap. Slick soap. So I'll just do a little rinse, a cold water rinse actually. Boy, I tell you what, the water is definitely not cold like the winter time. That's for sure. I'm still, still blown away by the generosity of Wes, sending me that awesome Rod George handle. And I actually asked Rod George about that handle a few, about maybe about a month ago, or when I got out of the hospital, because I saw Wes and his Shave of the Day post, and I was like, wow, that's a great handle. Perfect colors, and Rod said it was a real pain in the neck to make that handle, so he actually wasn't sure if he was going to be able to make another handle like that so i was like oh oh well <laughs> so i didn't push the issue and then lo and behold west sent it to me and very gracious of west to send me that razor handle especially you know since it was made by rod george who's an awesome you know artisan in our wet shaving community so I'm going to hit my face up with some alum. I do have a little weeper right there, but just want to use the alum anyway because I have this goofy bug bite there and got another one there, but I didn't cut those open, thank God. I got a little weeper there maybe over there, but we'll see. Hit it with the old Omega alum stick. Just 
just wet the face with some cold water even though it's not freezing cold I really have no stinging at all a little bit from the bug bite there but that was a nice shave deal somebody messaged me the other day that do I store my allen block wet my allen stick I'm like no I wipe it off with a towel and I lightly put the cap back on and the cap has some vent holes in it anyway but I just lightly put it on just like that just so she could breathe and you know and then that's when I just put it back on my little shaving station I have up here on the wall and uh that's why I do my own. I also have it in, in the block form. I have a couple manufacturers. I have the uh, Razor Rock version. I have the Gentleman John's version. I also have the Phoenix Art Artist and Accoutrement version with the rubber band around it. But I like to use the stick because it's got that nice kind of roll-on feel instead of the block. Just for my face with it. And I'm actually going to wash the alum off. Let me just put my brush. I just about to roll into the sink. Sometimes I leave the alum on. Sometimes I wash it off. But I know I'm going to be putting on some awesome skin food after my shave. Because I'm going to use the Zingari Balm. Um, I'm not going to use the Mariner Bomb because I'm in a, I'm kind of in a Bay Rum, rum mood today. I was actually going to shave with Nomad, but I haven't used Mariner in a while. And since it's so hot outside, I wanted to get that, you know, fresh ocean kind of scent. But I'm going to finish off with some Bay Rum today. And, uh, Zingari's... Nomad is a sweeter bay rum, but I'm gonna throw a little splash on first. Um, a little uh, Panade actually, Virgin Island bay rum, just for that bay rum scent. My wife actually likes the bay rum scent. I do have bay rums from a few artisans. I have bay rum, I have the atomic bay rum from Phoenix. I have the bay rum from Nightbridge. Of course, I have the Nomad from Singari. I have bay rum from Vanulay. Who else do I got bay rum from? I know I have bay rum from, a, from I think, two other artisans that I can't think of the names right now. <laughs> All right, so now um, I'm going to let that dry. So I was using the Mariner today, the, the Zingari Nomad. I keep on saying Nomad because I'm looking at the bottle right there for the bomb, but it's Mariner. Good stuff. Got some left, of course, but let me quickly rinse off my brush so I can show you. Oh, yeah. And there was tons in the brush, but I've shown you that a million times, so I'm not going to play with the lather today. Just because i got to run the water down. Because this is the green and black shave today. And you can see i got so much sun coming in my bathroom today, my skylight. Right? Almost like I have a sun lamp in here. And what's awesome about my Predator brush is originally I think it had a 26 millimeter tuxedo knot in it. And then while I was in the hospital, uh, Josh Morris sent me a new knot because I used to complain 
that I love my, you know, the brush handle, but I always thought that the actual knot was a little bit too small for the size of the brush handle because it is a nice girthy sized, you know, big nice big brush handle. And it is a rich man shaving. He turned the handle a while back, um, but the knot in it was for me was always a little bit too small, just for the size of the brush. So Josh sent me this nice 30 mil. I think it was from Maggard's. I'm not really 100% sure. But uh, it wasn't that much work to uh, hone the actual hole where the knot was. I did that with my Dremel. You know, very slowly and methodically. And epoxied it in there. And there it is. Love that. And I love the color. And the color goes so awesome with the uh, new Rod George handle there. Which I'm so appreciative to Wes for sending me this. Now I kind of got a matching set there. For uh, razor and brush. Tell you what, when this thing... When after I get this wet, I have my little brush holders up here on the wall. That hold about eight of my mostly used brushes. But it's hard sometimes fitting that in there. Because it's like a big knot. Yeah, it's a great handle. Of course it is, because it's Rod George handle. So I'll also put Rod George's link, you know, to his uh, Etsy page. Under there. Or his website. It's on the box I have there, so. But yeah, it's a great handle. I mean, look at that handle. That's so cool. Wes knows I like the green and black and that's such a cool deal such a cool deal and the blade that was in there today was the chroma As you can see there the chroma blade like I said it's been one of my favorite blades lately it's smooth and it's definitely treating me well and I just picked up a whole bunch from Amazon the other day Great blade I had it on the Rockwell the head was the Rockwell 6s Just because I didn't want to use the Magras V3 head today just because it was a little you know, it's a little uh, And I didn't want to really get that over there. So that was the head was the Rockwell 6s and it was on plate 4 today on the awesome Ron George handle Oh, handle so cool. Can't stop looking at it. Alrighty, so real quick, let me just empty out my bowl. I know I'm like rambling on today, but I'm so blown away by the generosity of the folks in the shaving community. Because like I said, while I was in the hospital, I got lots of goodies from lots of people from all around the, all around the world, actually, from the shaving community. So... I am so appreciative of everybody who sent me goodies. Especially since uh, money's tight because, uh, you know, amount of work and because of the heart surgery and whatnot. So it's awesome. I still get to play with the shave gear since that's pretty much all I get to do now because I still have weeks and weeks of doctor requested, uh, you know, I really can't do much still yet. They won't, they won't even let me drive yet, so... But I could shave, which is awesome. Yeah, so uh, I used up all that Zingari Mariner that was in there. Face feels nice and dry now, so I will put on a little weeper there, though. But that's okay, a little tiny one. So I'm going to use, I'm not going to use, I do have Mariner Bomb, but I'm going to put on some Nomad from Zingari. Just because I want a little, I want that Bay Rummy scent since I can't go fishing it also reminds me of uh, you know being on the water Bay rum scent that's why I like the mariner too because it reminds me of the fresh nice clean water Well, I love Zingari bomb bombs or 
band. <laughs> They go on so smooth, they don't go on oily. They soak in. Great, great skin food. Been been a Zingari fan now for a long for you know. Right right before she changed from her other company's name. Which I actually have, I think. If I look at my drawer, I thought I had some of her older. I do. I actually have an older soap. <laughs> when I was smitten soapery. <laughs> I have the Sexy Beast, which is the same scent as Nomad. And I have the bath soap from there, too, which is great stuff. So that was an awesome shave. Thanks, Wes, for sending me that awesome Rod George handle. And he did send me the head for it, too, which is the Maggard V3 head, um, which I just opted to use my Rockwell head today. Um, so, that's what's awesome about the the handle is it's got a it's got the universal thread. I forget what thread it has on it, but it fits every single razor I have. So, awesome deal. Alright folks, so if you liked my, my video today, give me a thumbs up. Or if you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Um, and if you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. And uh, until next shave, Glenn signing off.